Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is a reading for Earth Signs. So if you're a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cappy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading can be helpful for you. Uh, to the cross watchers dealing with an Earth Sign, this also may be helpful. So if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like, share, subscribe, I can also join up to the channel for membership. You'll get access to membership videos and extended versions to readings as well. So don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video. Otherwise, let's begin and see what's coming up. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at what your person's really thinking and feeling. So we're going to lay out some cards for their true, most innermost sort of private thoughts. Uh, and then we'll look into what they're feeling. So we'll suss it out. And earth signs. Let's go on and have a look. First and foremost, what are they thinking? What is this person thinking? Okay, thinking and then feeling. What are their thoughts at this present time? And then feelings. Okay, there's a lot going on for this person. They've got quite a few major arcana cards here. Um, okay, Capricorn has come up in their thoughts. So this may be more for a Cappy or to those who are dealing with someone um, with Capricorn in their chart. Okay, so in terms of thoughts, straight away I'm getting that this person is obsessing over a certain situation. Now, I'm getting a sense that there's someone who's getting very heavily attached to you or getting attached very quickly. Now, they're trying to fight it with the Ace of Swords, um, but they keep getting some unhealthy thoughts is what I'm, what I'm getting with that Devil card. So I'm picking up a situation that if there's been deceit or deception between you or them, they keep thinking about it. It's almost like there's a transgression or something that you might have done here, Earth Signs, and it's like this person keeps obsessing over it. And they're telling other people about it too. I feel like with the world card, they've tried to get someone's advice about the situation because they, they know themselves, like they're acknowledging, them, acknowledging it themselves that this is not healthy, whatever they're thinking about. And that's why I feel like the Ace of Swords is coming up. Um, I get that they're going through a bit of, um, bit of a tough time here with processing something that has happened. I'm getting something is also distracting them that they, they came across online. Now, it could be that they saw a picture of you and your ex or they saw you do something and they really weren't aware that you did that, for example. They're going to come across something or they have come across something that is making them having, isn't giving them some crazy thoughts, okay? It's making them have these crazy thoughts, the Ace of Cups is here, so I feel like there is someone here who wants a new beginning with you. They keep thinking about restarting or I'm picking up like fresh start. So a fresh start in a situation, um, the ability to move forward. It's almost like someone wants to press the reset button and be like, can we try this again? Uh, can we do this again? Um, because I feel like that's where... That's where their energy is right now. It will change, but I feel like because that world card, it's like a, a, um, a circle, it's a sphere. It's like they keep going round and round. So right now they're in this, they, they need to process this. So you it might be wise to give them a bit of time so they can process all of this. Now in their feelings, they have the two of cups. So there's obviously someone here who loves you very deeply or is falling in love with you or feels connected to you like we do towards a twin flame or a soulmate. So that's a pretty huge sign that that's come up. The past is coming up again. It's Scorpio energy. So they're feeling very attached and also jealous. Now Scorpio can be a very jealous energy. So they also have Leo that's come up in their feelings. So there's they're feeling jealous, okay? They're seeing something, they're thinking about it, and now it's making them feel very possessive. Um, the past is coming back up, so they feel like maybe you'll go back to their your past. Um, 
Maybe you'll go back to a past job that you had that was taboo. Maybe you'll go back to that person, that relationship that wasn't healthy. They feel a bit lost at times with that Seven of Cups. Sometimes they're feeling really optimistic. Um, but then I, I get that there's someone feeling that although at times they try to be optimistic about you, at times they feel like you're hiding something from them or you're not revealing all your cards. So I don't know if this is someone getting some paranoid thoughts here. Um, they're definitely thinking this way and their feelings are starting to change with that too. Um, not for all of you, because for some, I get that this person is ready to share a major secret with you. So they feel ready that they can be vulnerable with you. It's possibly something they haven't told anyone about. The High Priestess with the Death card. Uh, it's something very close to their heart. Or something that's really big okay it's pretty huge but I think they may be ready to tell you um, I'm getting children's coming up with the high priestess or so someone's feeling I don't know if they're feeling like a child like they feel immature with you or they feel like you look after them or mother them a bit too much maybe they're feeling like they might be ready to have children with you but they feel you're in their life for a reason that you've come into their path for for something for something big the high priestess doesn't show, show up for nothing so she rules number two they have two twos they're definitely feeling very intuitive about this relationship so they feel like they can read you well and they feel like you're withholding something but i also feel on some level they truly and wholeheartedly believe that you have come into their life or they've come into your life for a big reason and they don't want to terminate terminate or stop this relationship because that reason hasn't made itself clear just yet. It's still hidden with that death card and the high priestess. Um, there might be someone thinking about an ending here with a death card because they're not sure how they feel. That's not to take away of the connection that you once had because this person acknowledges that you might be the best thing that's ever happened to them. But they might be needing to, they, they're starting to feel maybe that they are more obsessed with you rather than in love or attached. So there's some there's some emotions they're going through, but there's someone that maybe feels or senses there's an ending coming towards them. So maybe you've been thinking about breaking up with them, Earth signs, they feel it. They pick it up on an intuitive level. Could also be from their side. They may be feeling like the relationship is coming towards an ending. Um, and even if you're not connected, if you're in no contact with this person, there's someone missing you here, Earth Signs, that wants to come back. They're feeling like they want to give things a go with the death card. They want to resurrect the dead. They want to give things a second shot. They want to see how it goes. It might be better. It might be different this time around. I will leave it there. So thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. Don't forget to drop a like and also to subscribe to the channel. And thank you so, so much for all your support. So lots of love and bye for now.